Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post. We've got a few new products to talk about, so let's see what we've got. First up, we've got a couple of cables that change HDMI into other things. First up, we've got this guy, which is an HDMI to VGA converter. Um, it has a standard size HDMI on this side, a nice little converter box, a VGA DB15 out, and we've also got a little 3.5 millimeter audio jack on that side for the audio. These are good for all the single board computers like a Raspberry Pi, things like that that have an HDMI out, and maybe you want to use them with a VGA source or maybe you want to use them with a DVI. This is a cable that goes from HDMI to DVI. This one does not have audio included like the VGA does, but that shouldn't be an issue for most things. So if you're looking to convert the HDMI out on your single board computer into something else, check out both the VGA and the DVI cables. Next up, we've got a couple new pairs of tweezers. These are cross-lock tweezers. As you can see, they have this nice little cross, and they're normally closed, and when you press them, they open up, which is, of course, opposite from a normal pair of tweezers. We have them in two different varieties. We have them in the curved, and we have them in the straight. Both of these have this nice red coating, which is actually ESD safe, so you can use these around your sensitive electronic components. And lastly, we've got a new kit. This is the H2 Oh No kit. This is a water alarm. We've got the PCB right there. We've got the ATtiny85. We've got a couple of jumper wires. We've got a coin cell battery, and then some other little bits. We've got a buzzer, an on-off switch, an LED, and the little holder for the coin cell battery. All this gets magically assembled into this little guy. And this is just your basic water alarm. So here I have a glass of water where I'll demonstrate how this works. I'm just gonna make sure that it is turned on. Makes that little sound of startup. And we dip it into the water. Oh no! And the last thing I should mention about this little kit is on the back of it, you actually do have a six pin header, so you could theoretically reprogram the ATtiny85 for this to do whatever else you wanted. So there you have it. These are our products for this week. We've got a couple different cables for you single board computer fans out there. For all you assemblers, we've got a couple tweezers. And for you kidder people, we've got the H2O. Thanks for watching and see you next week.